It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joey, and today we're here with Beginner's Let's Play number six. Now, as you can tell, I'm a little bit sick. I'm just, it's a cold. It's really cold outside, guys. Colds come and go. What are you going to do? So, but today we're going to be taking a look at Lima. Now, before we go into Lima, I have my one pretty much pro tip for you guys before you guys want to jump into it too quickly. In Lima, we're going to be looking into a lot of biohazards and things like that. So, what you're going to want to bring along is some pretty high level gunfighters, mercenaries. Captain Zeta is always good for that as well. Um, anything like sort of like a gunner type unit. So, as you can see on my team right here, I have my lumberjack because I want to have some melee, just a little bit. So I actually have my sniper to help take out those biohazards from long range. It's going to be really helpful because if they get too close, they're just going to go ahead and start wiping out your guys really quickly, and we don't want that. So we have a mercenary for some long range sort of drone, just kind of kind of get rid of those drones a little bit quicker. Captain Zay is always good just because she's a gunfighter. She's the hero unit. She's powerful. We got a lumberjack to kind of slice through those drones as well. We have a trooper and a gunfighter, and all those guys are level 5. I have my gunners up to level 5. Basically because I want to have the best chance. You guys can go probably level 4 and 3. I bet they'd still be really effective. But make sure you have a good bit of gunners with you. And at least one sniper and one melee unit. And of course I bring them along a medic. So let's go ahead and fight. Lima. Fight. <coughs> there we go. And I'm going to borrow this Desperado from Angry W. Fight. Lima. La sustencia gris. So guys, I'm going to do something very similar with this. I'm going to go through <coughs> the first couple of rounds with you guys. And then, because the, most of these early rounds are going to be pretty much identical. And then I'm going to come back at the finale. So, as you can see, first wave, we're going to be looking at some biohazards, runners, and brutes. Very similar. We're going to have all those guys coming from each of these pads. So, right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and move over this firefighter or fire chief, I believe. So, we're actually given three firefighters at this point, which is actually very helpful. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw a sniper down to kind of have that long range gunner boost, you could say. I'm going to use two gunners here i'm going to put down my trooper and my gunfighter now this is really going to help thin out the horde a whole lot quicker and it's going to kind of kind of limit that damage that the biohazard can actually cause to us so i'm going to go ahead and start the waves there we're going to get that first biohazard coming at us while we're doing that i'm going to throw captain zeta over here because that's where i want to put my other gunners i'm going to put her with a merc as well and we're not going to be running into as many like biohazards on this end so i'm going to throw down my lumberjack as well with a medic so as you can see, we're trying to take out that biohazard from long range before it gets too close. Because as you see, the longer that blue aurora around it sits on us, the longer that it will just it'll just cause more damage to us. So we want to get rid of them as quick as possible. As you can see, we barely miss and take out that guy for us. Stim up my crew really quick so we can take out that runner really quick. Over here, we're getting a lot of drones and a lot of close quarters, guys. So that's where it's really good to bring in those melee units because we're not running into any biohazards. Now, we are going to get one right here. But we're very kind of close and set up to the pad right here. So it could be very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and flare. Hmm. Let's go ahead and flare my guys right there. Just to kind of get them a little disproportioned a little bit. Now, we're going to be starting to run in some more people over here. I'm going to go throw some more of these close range gunfight gunners. Let's throw in a Merc, a Desperado, and a Sniper to take out some of those mutated zombies for us. And we got some more room over there, I think. So I'm just going to throw down the rest of my Gunners. I have a whole lot of extras, and that's pretty much going to clear up the rest of that pad for me. One more Biohazard goes down, and it looks like we've got to cover a couple more drones, and we are done. So, guys, really the key importance here is to have at least one melee unit for those pads that aren't going to be dishing out those Biohazards towards you. And have plenty of Gunners. That's going to be your key, pretty much most influential part of your attacking here. So what are our rewards? What do we get? We've got some cans, rations, you could say, and a sniper. Sweet. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and continue there. Good stuff, guys. Can't complain. So next one, we're going to be getting in a common pack. I'm going to go ahead and fight. Now, Captain Zeta is a little tired here, so let's go ahead and update our team. Now, I'm going to actually swap out Captain Zeta for my firefighter, and that's pretty much just to get another tanky guy in there, just kind of help defend there. Let's go ahead and fight. We're going to get an uncommon pack here. And guys, after this, I'm going to go ahead and shoot over to the finale. Pretty sweet stuff, guys. So as you see, very similar map. This time, we don't have Captain Zeta. So we're going to have to alter our thing a little bit. But again, I'm going to throw a sniper here because I want to have that for the long range taking out of those biohazards. Let's go ahead and put my trooper over here with a gunfighter. Now, we actually have another lumberjack over here, which is going to come in handy. So I'm going to go ahead and throw down. We're going to have a whole lot of melee units on this end throw down our medic and we're only going to have one gunner this is mainly because we're only running into one biohazard wave so 
I'm feeling pretty confident about that. We have the medic up there in the back, and that's looking pretty good. Now, just in case, I do have an extra one, so I did a whole lot of pre-placing in this round, a whole lot more than the last one, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to kind of roll with the punches, see how the waves are looking, but we've become pretty aware of what's going to come out of this wave. So, we're going to have one biohazard coming out at the beginning. I don't know why my sniper... Let me go ahead and reset. That will that usually kind of gets your... Jesus. Sorry, guys. Oh, please don't fail me now, guys. So, guys, if you find that your sniper is sort of stuck in the front or something, you kind of move in the back, and he usually will go to the back just due to the AI and seeing that we got some guys up here. Um, it's really good just kind of kind of reset the waypoint, and he'll actually kind of re-move back to where he should be. So it looks like we're just running into a whole bunch of drones. Up here, we are clearly dominating. I'm going to go ahead and step up my guys here. We're getting a lot of melee, close-range stuff, guys. But it looks like they're handling it just well because we're not running into any biohazards, so they're not causing too many problems for us. Now, over here, I'm going to go ahead and start fortifying this pad with a lot of those gunners and things like that so we can take out these guys over here. I'm going to throw down a medic just because the biohazard does get a little bit too close for comfort. But it looks like we're doing pretty just well. We're doing just fine. Looks like that sniper got back to his front i don't know why he likes that spot so much please go back <laughs> i don't know why he likes going to the front so much let me go ahead and stem up my guys over here take out that biohazard just got a couple drones left over here bang bang pop pop they're done so there is lima right there so we're gonna go ahead and cut it right here i think and then we're gonna go ahead and go over to the very final but let's go ahead and check out what our rewards were really quick Personal trainer, paramedic, and some cans. Sweet. So, guys, we're going to cut it right here, and we're going to kind of come back when we're at the very final finale, you could say, for this city. And I'll be right back. Day 7, just a second, guys. All right, guys. So, we're here with the finale of Lima right here. As you can see, we are going to be getting a fire chief if we can complete this successfully. I went ahead and finished all of those. We got 25 coins at one point. We got an uncommon pack, which will open at the end of this episode. Let's go ahead and fight here. We have our main group right here, the group I've been rolling with as well. Now, earlier on in these last couple rounds, I actually didn't have my team because they, their stamina kind of kind of just ran out, ran out of juice, guys. So, I kind of uh, filled in with some other units, and it's actually still possible to go with lower units. It's just... It's going to be more difficult, but you can still do it. This is probably the best and easiest way to get past Lima, simply enough. So let's go ahead and fight the very last finale round. What's it going to be? So what are we going to get? Hmm. Looks exactly the same. Easy win. Can't complain with that. Let's do it. All right, let's go ahead and fight. I was expecting some. I was expecting something a little bit different, but this is what we got. <clears throat> let's go ahead and throw the Captain Zeta over there. And I'm going to actually throw down this level 5 Lumberjack. And I'm going to go ahead and roll with that. Let's see what we get. So let's go ahead and speed it up. Send those biohazards away. And here we go. We're off to the races, guys. I'm going to go for the highest time bonus possible. I'm probably going to end up overwhelming my guys. But I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm feeling lucky. Very lucky. So we just got to take out these guys as fast as possible. AFAP. AFAP. <laughs> as fast as possible, guys. So, uh-oh run into some trouble here we could end up having some very interesting outcomes here but we're just rolling i'm rolling full steam ahead because this is actually this is literally the exact same map guys as the earlier rounds so it's really not too exciting so i'm just kind of roll through these guys as fast as possible here go ahead and stem up this crew over here they're going to break through that right wall on there and they're going to be taken out pretty handily over there so biohazard goes down just a couple drones to go and they are down there we go 368 trophies out of a possible 240 and looks like we're actually going to be able to get how many are we going to end up with here we actually had a perfect round there that gave us 200 387 trophies plus that 19 bonus we just dominated clearly let's go ahead and continue that's what happens when you kind of speed through it if you break through those ways quick it's pretty nice so let's go ahead and show our rewards here what do we got we got a firefighter and just over a thousand Maybe more in cans. Sweet. So we completed that. Our reward is the firefighter. I love it. Can't complain with that. I love firefighters. Fire chiefs. Ugh. I knew that. No, server error. That's no fun. All right, guys. So once this server error is over, hopefully it didn't. It, it saved our data from that last attack. Our army is growing large. We can disband weaker units for resources to fuel our war efforts. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and disband you. I understand. I'm a pro. We can disband these guys. So, just disbanded a couple snipers. Let's go ahead and check out this pack really quick. The uncommon pack. Let's go ahead and open it. See what we got. Maybe it's something good. Let's go ahead and tap that. What do we got? We have a one uncommon and 
four common. Nothing too special, so we got some mercs, a gunfighter, a paramedic, and our uncommon unit is the outlaw. Sweet. I'll take it. I will roll with that. So, that's what I got for this episode, guys. So, next episode, we're going to be taking a look at Rio de Janeiro. We're going to be unlocking the Molotov cocktail there, too. So, it's going to be a pretty exciting episode to look forward to, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you did enjoy this episode, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.